I am setting up my own clinic. I know Vince means business when he wears these trousers. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here then hi, my name's Sarah, I'm a doctor in the UK and I make videos about my life as a doctor and what I get up to in my free time. So let's have a little catch up shall we? If you've been following my story as a medical student through to being a doctor on here on YouTube for a while you may know from my vlogs and from Instagram that I qualified in 2017 as a doctor and since then I have been working as a doctor. In the UK you have to do two years as a foundation doctor where you rotate around different specialities. Once you finish that you can start to specialise and you can either go down a direct training programme for that particular specialty if they have one or you go down a core training programme and carry on rotating through specialties until you finally get to specialise. What I did after my two years of foundation training was actually step off the training ladder and I took what is called an F3 year. An F3 year is basically where you step out of the training program and you do something different. You are still a doctor, but you're not officially working your way up to a consultant. And the medical year runs from August to August, which I think is why I've been having so many questions recently about what I'm doing next and, and what I'm going to specialise in. The last year I've spent locuming in A&E, which has been amazing, and you guys have been following along, watching my vlogs and seeing what I get up to at work, and I love that job. I really, really do love it. I also went travelling for three months with my fiancé, which was incredible. Loved the opportunity to do that, and I really felt like I had a proper break from my life as a doctor and just kind of like got back to just being me and enjoying lots of nature and exercise walking and socializing it was a great three months really loved that and if any of you get the chance to go traveling obviously not during a pandemic but i would encourage you to do it because it is incredible so here we are we're in august now as i'm filming this what am i doing i'm not in specialty training what the heck is going on about a year ago i decided to take a course to become an aesthetic practitioner aesthetics is cosmetics and it's injectable cosmetics so botox and fillers and i really haven't spoken about it a lot on here i've been kind of doing it on and off um over the last year obviously not during lockdown um but I haven't spoken about it on here because I don't want to use this platform as a way of kind of like promoting that. It just feels wrong and sleazy. You guys aren't the kind of audience I want to be promoting that to. But I have had quite a few questions when I've mentioned it on Instagram about, you know, how I'm setting myself up. So I'm happy to talk about that side of it, um, but I don't want to use this as a way of like promoting that um, clinic. I have been spending a lot a lot of time setting myself up for that. I, I really wasn't prepared for how much energy and time it would take to set that all up. There is so much that goes on behind the scenes. Now I'm not shy to creating businesses and starting things from scratch but this is probably the biggest project project that I've undertaken and I am really excited to see how I get on and see how it grows um, and I'm really hoping that I'm trying, I'm going to try and make that my full-time income and then I will continue to work in A&E as a locum, either one or two days a week. And the reason I want to carry on working in A&E is genuinely because I love it. So let's have a little chat about locuming and what locum work is. I talk about it occasionally on Instagram and I always get loads of questions from you guys about what locuming is. Now locum work is where you pick up shifts as and when on your own a kind of timetable. There's a few different ways that um, locum work works as a doctor but um, in the job that I'm in I'm on a zero hours contract and I basically pick up shifts as and when kind of fill the empty rotor gaps. Because I'm on a zero hours contract I don't get any of the usual benefits that you would get with an, a permanent employment so I don't get sick pay, annual leave, maternity benefits. There are other locum jobs that you can do so you can get like a temp job so you've got a set number of months that you might be working in a particular role um, and they put you on the rotor but I personally wanted to work on a zero hours contract so that I could have the freedom and flexibility to go away traveling for three months without having to ask permission from anyone, to be able to take days off to work on my business and all my side projects without having to ask anyone's permission. And I think that it's just really suiting my personality. And I've got to be honest with you, I have never been happier than since I started doing locum work. 
it's not for everyone. I know a few locums who ha have not really enjoyed having locum work um, through the past year and they have just been like craving the stability of getting back onto the rotor and kind of having a bit more structure and routine to their life. But for me personally, as someone who it really enjoys being able to be in control of my own time and set my own structure and boundaries for the week, I love it. F1 and F2, my foundation years as a doctor, were really good and I learned so much and you know, rotating through the different specialties is such, such a learning curve and you know, I really, really did gain a lot from F1 and F2. But I've just found it quite restrictive and I actually found myself starting to feel burnt out because I, I kind of just couldn't really let go of my outside interests and not that you have to but I think I just had too much going on you know I was expecting that I still wanted to go and see my friends and family every weekend I still wanted to go to my running club twice a week I still wanted to continue this YouTube channel and do it well and help you guys out with your questions and things and I'm also running an Etsy shop as well so I was really excited when it came to F3 and I knew that I was going to have a lot more time to be able to focus on all of the things I love and any of my friends or family who are watching this would quite happily tell you that I'm the kind of person who loves to be busy and I'm always thinking of new projects and like starting new things so being on a rotor working like up to 72 hours a week was just not really great for me because you know all of my time was dominated by work and I've heard a couple of other, other medics I think I've heard Ali Abdal talk about it and I've spoken about, about it with my friend Dr Lauren um, about kind of having medicine as like the thing that you love still and I found that in F1 and F2 because I felt so restricted by the rotor um I I found that medicine was actually becoming a bit of a burden on me and I was you know I, you can see from my videos I did love it and I really enjoyed certain aspects of it but the restrictive nature of the rotor was really getting me down to be able to kind of pick and choose and do like one or two shifts a week in A&E, I think that will keep my love and passion for it alive and mean that I really enjoy going in for the learning experience and the social side of working in a big team. Um, but I will be able to make money from the aesthetics business, doing something that I also really love and that I'm really interested in um, and on my own terms. So I'm really, really excited for that. And of course, I'm going to be continuing this YouTube channel. I've started work on a blog to go alongside it and I'm also thinking about doing some online courses for you guys and um, there's a few topics that a lot of you have asked me about multiple times things like confidence and imposter syndrome I was thinking I could create some courses to help you guys out so if that's something you're interested in then please let me know if you want to see Vince and I setting up the clinic at the end of this video I've got a little vlog about that and um, so keep watching to the end if you do want to see that in terms of like personal life or just thought I'd catch up with you guys about what's going on there so um, we are getting a dog and today is the day that we're actually getting her I've been chatting with you a lot on Instagram about that I'm like so excited and getting a dog is oh, it's one of those things that I've been like wanting for like my whole life like we always grew up with dogs when I was younger um, and I just couldn't wait for the day that I'd be able to get my own dog so I've been so excited about this uh, but I knew that I didn't want to get a dog while I was working full time and like being out of the house all the time. I wanted to wait until I was locoming, but I also wanted to wait until we had come back from our big trip abroad. We we're finally at the right point in our lives that getting a dog is the right move. So we're very excited about that. And then as well as that, we are also <laughs> moving house. So at the moment, Vince and I live in like a two bedroom semi it's like the right sort of size for us at the moment but we are hoping to you know start a family in the next few years we're getting married next year we're getting a dog we want a nice big garden so we are upsizing and we're hoping to be moving in the autumn so there's loads going on we're also planning our wedding for next year so yeah it's been it's been very busy like new business new dog new house planning a wedding and I love it I love when things are really busy and it's all good things so I'm very very happy and I'm feeling like my heart is very full at the moment yeah just wanted to update you guys let's get into the part of the video where I show you setting up the clinic. 
Got my workman here, ready to help me move everything. <laughs> I know Vince means business when he wears these trousers. <laughs> at the stairs wondering how on earth we're going to get the salon chair up there. 95 kilo chair needs to go up the stairs and I'm only 85. The 95 kilo salon chair. <laughs> that was easier than I thought it was going to be. It was not easy, but it was easier than I thought. Let's check it, it's not damaged. Well, this is what it's supposed oh, to look like. We have some progress. We've got the salon chair in here. Uh, the drawers are nearly made up. And meanwhile, the rest of the salon looks like absolute carnage. <laughs> On my almost finished clinic. So here we have the client chair, and then I'll be sitting here. And as every good doctor patient consultation goes, you're at right angles. And I have this desk, which I think might be the most beautiful thing I have ever bought in my life. All of these butterflies are handmade in Italy. I say only the best for my customers. And then we have this, which I love. <sighs> oh, that's better. And then on the ceiling, I'm going to have some gold birds flying across so that the uh, patient has got something to look at while they're waiting for me to get all of my injectable treatments ready for them which will be over here. So I've got my uh, setup here with a nice glass uh, wipe, like wipe down top. And then Vince has kindly fitted my bins here so I've got all of recycling. I'm on for general waste and I'll have a sharp spin there. And then I bought some organizing trays because you guys know how much I love to organize. And here we have a gold mirror to go with the gold theme. So yeah, got a few more finishing touches to add. I think I want to add like a plant down there. Got loads of crap on the windowsill that I'm going to get rid of there. Um, and then I was thinking that when I'm sitting in the patient chair here, I'm kind of like looking just at a bland wall and it's a bit boring, so I think I'm going to put something up there. But otherwise, I am super proud of how this space looks and I can't wait to start. So that's it guys, what do you think? Still got a few more finishing touches to add. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you have and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my content and I'll catch you in my next video, bye. This week's shout out goes to Gabriella Quinteros. You commented on my last video asking me to keep giving you guys cases when I do my vlogs. So thank you for watching and thank you for your supportive comment. I'll catch you next time guys.